hi everyone and welcome back to today's video guys thank you so much i know it's been a while okay but i'm back now i will try to be posting at least once a week so thank you so much for clicking on today's video so today's video is not me showing you how to make all these things you are seeing here i this is me just showing you how i do my bulk cooking how i save myself from stress today i am stocking up my freezer okay and i decided to take you guys along these are the beef uh, the protein i mean to say that i'm going to be using for this soup i'm going to be cooking two soups uh, i'll be making stew i'll be making some beans and i'll be making bolognese for my children so this beef is very much concentrated so i won't be adding any seasoning cube here because it already contains everything so let's dive in thank you so much for coming if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please do so and guys please don't forget to thumb up okay so I started by dividing that meat that you saw earlier. Hmm? I actually take up some that I'm going to be using for my draw soup. So uh, the first thing I'm going to be doing today is cooking my best soup ever. My bitter leaf soup. Ofo Nubu. <laughs> Guys, this is one of my best soup. I mean, I can eat this soup 247 without getting tired. And I seasoned that with um, Dawa Dawa. Uh, I added red oil. Okay, the uh, the proteins are let me just say forty to fifty percent cooked. Okay, so they are not really done. So I added enough crayfish. You all know me with crayfish, hmm? and I added a uh, scotch bonnet. Added some stock fish, and this is me adding my bitter leaf. This bitter leaf is already boiled with hot water, you know, shredded, and then it was inside the freezer. I brought it out about uh, 10 minutes ago just for it to defrost okay and i'm going to be adding a lot of it these are the bitter leaf i mean this bitter leaf is two years old in my freezer two years old and i still have it and every time i bring it out and cook it guys hmm, it tastes amazing even though i added some dawa dawa i added some ogili mini as well this is onubu soup and onubu soup i mean it needs enough ogili Mm, you need a, not, a lot of native season. So after cooking the bitter leaf for 10 minutes, I am here to add some fish. I am using macro fish, green macro fish. And then I also added some cocoa yam. This cocoa yam was blended with my blender. Okay. This soup was a lot. Although somebody came and, you know, <laughs> shot my ration. An old friend of mine just came to my house unannounced and then... She met me cooking this soup and uh, I gave her some of it. That is why you see that the soup has reduced. But this is the soup. I am done with Onubu soup. And the guys, I am loving it already. So we are going to the next step. I am going to be making the dross soup. Okay. Thank you so much guys. Please don't forget to thumb up. So I am going to be making dross soup. Because in my freezer, I like to have at least two or three different types of soup. Okay. So that we don't get easily tired eating just one soup okay and the second soup i choose to make some draw soup because at least even though my children don't like to swallow i mean that once or twice in a month that they swallow i like to i mean they love draw soup so i wanted to make okra soup but i realized that the okra was not really that good so i decided to combine it with um obono soup so I started by adding some oil. I added the uh, obono, fry it for about two minutes, and then add water, add crayfish, and then I'll just cover it here and then allow the obono to cook for at least 10 minutes before adding any other thing. Okay. I really like this video for me, guys. Please like. Please like this video so that YouTube will take this video a long way. I beg you in the name of God. Like, 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 and share. So this is me after 10 minutes of cooking the obono, as you can see. I don't know, maybe I exaggerated with the water. Okay, so I'm here to add uh, the protein. Okay, if you notice, you see that I really don't have uh, enough beef here. These are what we like in this house. The small, small beef you are seeing is just for my children. Whenever they decide to eat, at least they will see some beef inside. But the pomo and everything just for me and Oga so 
added the beef, added some salt because I needed salt, some crayfish, and then I added some dry fish. Mm. I just cover it and then uh, later on I will be back to add some uh, spinach because I realized that my children love uh, draw soup when it has a little bit of green leaves uh, on it. They really don't like it when it's plain like this. And I myself, I don't like uh, soup, obono soup or okra looking plain just like this. No, it must have at least some green leaf inside. And that's what I'm doing right now. These are frozen spinach. Yeah, out of my freezer right now. And I just give it a mix and then I'll, add, I'll just off this flame immediately. I'll allow the heat to do the rest of the cooking. And we have our draw soup ready. Step into the next one, which is stew. I'm going to be making some stew because we need stew. Hmm? The children, they love stew. They can eat it with anything. They can eat with rice. They can eat with uh, yam. I mean, they can eat with potato. They eat stew with almost everything. So, I mean, there is no way stew is going to be missing in my freezer. So, I'll just go ahead and season the oil with thyme some curry i know the oil might seem a lot okay it doesn't really matter when i'm done cooking this stew i'll go ahead and sieve it out later so i'll add tomato these are my this is my homemade tomato i mean to say guys okay and i'll also add some pepper don't worry i know to some people the pepper might seem much but it's not really that pepperish Okay, even though I I love pepper in my stew, okay? And my children I used to eat as well. So I'll add some bay leaf and then I'll just allow it to fry for some time. And then I'll come back to, you know, give it a mix. In order for it not to get burnt. Okay, this is still late pot and uh, it easily gets burnt. I'll cover it again and allow it to fry very well. And yeah, this is me back after some time to add... Uh, some chicken stock and then I'll also add um, uh, some what do I call it fish and some chicken yeah I told you I'm not going to be using the protein you saw from the beginning for the stew I already have something different for this stew so I'll just mix and then cover to cook again and allow this stew to fry very well okay even though the tomato was boiled from the beginning I still want to fry this stew very very well so yeah you see the oil the stew has sucked almost all the oil but i'm still going to be sifting out anyway at the end of this video i added some curry leaf at the end okay just to give it a nice smell so yeah the stew is done as well i will set aside okay and then i'm moving on to beans here in my house beans is cooked every month in this house <laughs> Beans is cooked. My husband is a Yoruba man. He loves beans. My son loves beans as well. <laughs> when you see this, my son eating beans, eh, you ask if he was born abroad. <laughs> the guy loves beans a lot. And I eat beans as well, but not like my husband or my son. For my daughter, hmm, left with that one alone, I always say, left with her alone. Hmm. African stores will not sell because... She not saying you with all this African food though. The only African food she eats is uh, white rice and stew, jollof rice. That is all. That is all you see my daughter eat. Yam, beans. All those ones are not her business. Yam. When I cook yam porridge, she managed to eat small. But you see beans. Mm. Give her small beans. She will come back after one year and she's still sitting down, not eating that beans. Yeah, so... This is how I stock up my freezer, at least. This is going to last us, <laughs> guys, at least one month I am free from cooking. The only thing I'm going to be cooking now is white rice. When I have time, I'm going to prepare some jollof rice as well. Okay, but we'll still have some jollof rice. That's why you see that I did not do it here. So guys, the base is also ready. And um, I've, I've already started uh, portioning the food. As you can see here, I've already started portioning it. Okay, this is how I portion everything. Okay, this is just the beans. 
other things I will portion later on. Okay, and for the ragu bolognese for pasta, guys, I was really exhausted, so I did not do. I did not show you how I came up with this one, but if you want it, I have it on my channel, and I will link the, I will leave the link down. So I wanted to have some of these beans, and this is how I do it myself. I mean, this is how I love my beans. I added some pepper and some plantain just for myself. So guys, these are the soups. I am done for today and I'm really, really exhausted. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I motivate you to do bulk cooking. Thank you. Bye.